you can handle these eggs. Yeah. Yeah, we'll go ahead and get those eggs out. Don't want a rat stealing those. No. No, I would never want that. And then, if you come out here and save those eggs from th those mice, I mean... Rats. Rats. They... You might scare them away. I think I am. That's what I'm going to try to do. Welcome back to the channel, y'all. I've got a crazy video for you here today because we are going rat hunting in the backyard. It's unfortunate that I even have to say that, but yes, our chicken coop has gotten infested with rats. We live in the woods, as you can see, and there's field rats that are coming out of the woodworks this year for some reason. They're getting up around the house and obviously having a chicken coop. I've got that feed with chicken wire on the bottom, but there's still open areas where they can crawl right in there and they are getting a feast at night. I recently got out the thermal binoculars just to kind of check, the, check out what's going on in the backyard and I discovered a ton of rats up in the chicken coop. So typically some rat traps might get the job done if you got a few, maybe some rat poison, but we have a lot of rats. And it just so happens that I'm a hunter, I have an IR scope, I have thermals, and I have an amazing pellet gun that can get the job done on these big rats. So I've got my Air Force air rifle, the Condor SS, that is perfect for taking out backyard squirrels or any other pests, and I've used it a lot over the last couple years. The only problem is I need a Picatinny rail on my Condor, which I don't have. But it just so happens I live close to Air Force air guns. They're right here in around Fort Worth in Burleson, Texas. So I'm just gonna make a trip down there and they are gonna fix me up with a Picatinny rail and even clean my rifle out. And it turns out I had some uh, dirt daubers that got in there that were uh, crusting up the inside of the barrel. So they hooked me up, got me fresh, all clean barrel. They, they put on the IR scope, we even sighted in the the condor right there and we got it dialed to 20 yards so shout out to air force for getting me hooked up on these parts now this condor is a 25 caliber uh, pellet gun so it is bigger than a 22 it's bigger than your typical uh, 17 caliber that's on a regular pellet gun this thing will absolutely pop uh, you know, I've got raccoons, possums, all the typical backyard pests that you think of. So on top of my Air Force rifle, I've got the Sightmark Wraith, which is an IR scope. It records 4K. And I've also got an upgraded IR light, which is made by uh, Sniper Hog. It's a company uh, out of Texas, Southern Texas. And they make uh, these really solid lights that light up everything under 100 yards. And probably the coolest piece of outdoor equipment that I own that we're gonna be using is my Pulsar Accolade 2 thermal binoculars. There's no escaping these. You might be able to hide uh, from the IR, but you ain't hiding from the thermals. So uh, when these rats are scurrying around tonight, I'll be able to track them and I'm gonna be using the Wraith and the Accolades in tandem to get on them and hopefully take them out. Oh yeah, you're posing. What you doing in there? <laughs> Looks like she's been in the coop. She's got straw in shavings in her, her back. Oh, <gasps> did you get an ice cream sandwich? Mm. Oh my goodness, where's mine? Well, it's so big. I thought maybe you guys could split it. You think you could split it with Dad? Mm -mm. Sorry, Dad. <laughs> nope, it's a hard no. That is a hard no. We're, we're gonna, gonna take out some rats tonight. We're gonna take out the rats tonight, honey. I'll let you take the first shot if you want to. Really? You might you might have to deal with some mosquitoes. I mean, I would you might love have to be to. sweating Can out I? here. But I think it's actually gonna be really fun. I would honestly rather take out the armadillo that's messing up my flower bed because I have more I know. vengeance I'm about still, that. <laughs> listen, that's still a possibility. Okay. We could get a two for one tonight. Okay. We got a hole right here in the wall where the, the rats are, are going in there. They're getting the condensation off the, the copper pipe. And they're drinking off of it. I'm gonna get everything set up. I'm charging all batteries right now. Um, after dark, it's usually right after dark, they start coming out. So let's let the fun begin.
Alright guys, here we go. Oh, they they literally they can hear me talking. The sound of my voice just made them skedaddle. In the little duck house that I built over there, they're hiding under it. Some of them are starting to come back. Some of them are up in the trees. We got them everywhere, guys. This is nuts. This is nuts. They're scattering. They can hear me whispering. two inches high <laughs> so if I would have had that knowledge about an hour ago we would have about four rats down but that one was literally inside of the coop and I shot through the chicken wire I think they're wising up I don't think there's gonna be any more really come over but at least we for sure popped one the first night was crazy there was rats running around everywhere I'm getting crazy close to these rats. I mean, I'm talking like 10, 12 yards and I'm missing. I'm like, how am I missing these things? I'm so close. I finally figure out that I am shooting low, which doesn't make any sense. But with some experimentation, I figured out that the pellet is still rising at 10, 12 yards. So at 20 yards, it's dead on. But I actually have a holdover if it's around that 10, 12 yard mark. So once I figured that out, I was ready to go for night number two. So we are on night number two. But God, they're smart, man. I was hearing them like chirp, communicate with each other. It was interesting. They're loud. I mean, they're, they're like little grizzly bears. We're ready to go, y'all. Wraith is charged up. Binos are charged up. Uh, this air tank, you hardly have to replace the air in it. It lasts a long time, especially when I'm shooting on low setting. So. It's all good to go. Only bad news is I don't have any beer. Ran out of beer, and it's the weekend just started. Oh well, serious operations going down. Let's get some rats.
So after a few nights of doing this, I got dialed and then I never had to leave my back deck. I'd just sit out there, I had a little rest, a little cushion, and I'd just pop them from the top. Well, the sun has risen and I think we have knocked down the populations significantly. This is one of the big ones that was inside of the coop that I got. Ugh, throw this guy into the woods. Ugh. I actually ended up getting three rats in the last night's hunt. These things are smart guys and they literally knew when I would start to come outside. So over the period of about a week, I had to adjust the times that I went out. So I couldn't just go out at like 10 or 11 anymore. They would like, they would just be gone. Whereas the first time I ever went out there, there was like eight rats out there right after dark. As sneaky as they are, they just can't hide from those thermals, y'all. Those thermal binoculars are amazing. I ended up getting a, another possum over the course of the week. I ended up getting one of the armadillos. There's more armadillos though that are still tearing up the yard. And the Colonel is happy. So in total, I think we knocked out about 10 rats. And just because this video is over doesn't mean I'm not gonna get out those thermal binos every night until I don't see any more rats coming into my chicken coop. Hope you guys enjoyed watching this crazy backyard nocturnal rat hunting adventure. Thank you guys for tuning in today. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of my outdoor adventures and smash that like button or I'll have to sick Colonel Sanders on you. Tight lines and happy hunting y'all. We'll see y'all on the next one.